Hello everyone, this is Michalis from uh, michalos.gr web blog and today I'm going to show you how you can easily install Backtrack Linux on a virtual machine through VMware. So I've already visited backtracklinux.org and I'm going to download. Backtrack gives you the opportunity to subscribe to newsletters and uh, keep you updated with all the latest information and updates. So I choose not to register right now and just click download. Backtrack uh, 5R3 is the latest uh, edition, so this is the one I'm going to download. And since I have a 64 bit processor, I'm choosing the 64 architecture. Normally, now I should uh, click uh, to download right here in the middle of the screen, but uh, I have already downloaded this size of file in order to save time. So I'm going directly to VMware Workstation 9 in order to create a new virtual machine so this is where I should uh, find the ISO file I just downloaded which is under my downloads okay so here you can see that the uh, VMware cannot detect uh, the operating system of this uh, disk image but on the next step you must choose Linux and uh, specifically Ubuntu version 64 bit if you are running on this uh, on a 64 bit processor or simple Ubuntu if you are running on 32 bit I'm going to name this backtrack ok give it 8 gigabytes and I'm going to store it as a single file because I'm not willing to to move this virtual machine to another installation later on. If you want to, though, you can choose this one, this option. Okay, so I hit finish and I choose to power on this virtual machine I just created. Well, the good thing is that uh, you don't have to do any networking right now because. Um, through NAT, VMware gives all uh, necessary information regarding uh, IP addressing on the virtual machine. So right now, we are directly connected to the internet. So basically, every time you start this backtrack installation, you will see this screen because VMware recognizes this ISO as a Backtrack Live CD so we are choosing the first option just normally run with the Backtrack Okay, so in this screen, we are uh, one step before running the backtrack, and um, I'm saying this because I am a user of the graphical interface, so I should just type start text. You can always choose to, to run backtrack uh, the old-fashioned way. It also gives you the respective password for the root. But here we are, this is the backtrack. We can see all the applications right here on the menu. Okay, so we will also start start the Firefox to check if everything is okay with the internet. Okay, so here we go, everything is ready and uh, you are all ready to use Backtrack Linux. So, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my videos feed. Keep posted through Michalos.gr web blog. Thanks once again.